So please click on the link and you would be able to uh, do all of the instructions and follow all of my commands and instructions and also uh, participate in the lesson. So after clicking on the link, you will see a window like this. So just click on any icon you like, uh, how are you feeling today, green, uh, orange or yellow and red or just you can click, click skip. So and you will see everything that I have, but you can also draw on the slides. But if you follow the lessons, you already know it. <laughs> so today we're going to learn Mushskoi Rot, and means masculine gender. And we are also going to learn Bukva B, letter B, 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 B. So, supposed to be an interesting lesson. First of all, let's remember and try to remember. Do you remember how to say hi in Russian language? Hi. Or hey. Ni hao. Bonjour. Salut. Ciao. We say привет. 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 I would like to remind you that uh, if you know the name of the sound that it, uh, that ever get okay, the sound that is made by each letter, you would be able to read in Russian easily. Of course, we have uh, stress, like which stress we supposed to, which syllable we supposed to stress, and uh, unfortunately there is no rule. You just have to remember, or don't really you don't really have to. For example, the correct way is to say Privet, we stress in the second syllable, but if you say Privet, a lot of people will still understand you, especially if you're foreigner. They will not really be angry. They will be happy that you at least know some, some words. So Privet, Privet, <laughs> okay. And today, and actually last lesson, we also learned how to say I. We say ya. Ya. It is and the final letter of the Russian alphabet, and it is also a pronoun I. Ya. Privet. Ya. Ina. Privet. Ya. Ina. So now it's your turn to introduce yourself and say your name. So you need to say Privet. Ya. And your name. So one more time. Привет, я. Okay. So if you want, you can write your name. Uh, if not, is fine. So я yeah, it means I. And now let's have a look at the opposite of я, yeah, opposite of I. So let's uh, look at the phrases that we already know. So we can say here, the watermelon, Arbus, is saying, Привет, я, and I will write my name, okay. <laughs> when you have many languages on your keyboard, it takes a while actually oh, to change it. Okay, hey, this is my name. Привет. Я. Ина. And after I want to ask, and you, so we say, а, ты, а ты. So ты means you. You. Now it's time for English. You. А means uh, and or sometimes or so basically hi i'm ina and you привет я ина а ты and another person will also say привет and introduce themselves я and the name so let's practice. I will be a watermelon. <laughs> I, will, I will start. I will read the uh, red uh, box and you're going to read yellow box. 
Привет! Я Ина, а ты? So you can say привет, я and your name. So now we can do the same, but we can switch the roles. Now you will read the pink box and I will read the yellow box. Of course I will help you. Привет, я, and your name, а ты, it means and you, now it's my turn to say, so I will say, привет, я, Ина. It's not very difficult. Basically, we learned everything last lesson, and today we just added а ты, а ты, means and you, what about you? Okay, let's move to the next one. Also, last lesson we learned some letters. We were talking about alphavit. Alphavit. So we learned that there are three groups of буквы, of letters in Russian alphavit. So these are... Who remembers the name? In English is also fine. These are okay, vowels. Vowels. So these are the blue ones, the opposite of vowels. <laughs> Consonants. And these two green, they basically have no sounds. Yeah, these two, they do not produce any sounds. They just make um, the letters before them, after them, softer or harder. So let's uh, review how we actually say the vowels, because this is what we practiced last lesson quite a lot. So I'm going to mark a letter and we're going to say its name. A A Year, year, your, your, e, e, o, o, u, u. This one is a tricky one. <laughs> Do you remember it? Uh, uh. Oh, my cats are actually fighting. So I can say, uh, like I'm a little bit angry with them. Next one is a, uh, a, uh, you, you. And the final one is Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. So these are all of our vowels. The rest are consonants or two letters that have <laughs> no sounds. And that will be enough for today. So, you know, we don't really need to, for today's lesson, we don't need to remember all of the names of the consonants now. Today we just need to know the vowels again vowels are the keys to almost everything okay so just to review that uh, let's say to be sure that we're good and proficient with vowels let's play a little game don't forget to write your name click on start and we need to hit the vowels so we'll see kind of two molds. The first one has a vowel, ya. Yeah, so this is the correct one. We need to hit it. Another one has doesn't have any of these uh, letters, so we are not hitting it. Again, there is a. Ah, it is a vowel. We hit on it. So we try to find only the vowels, glasne. 
So try to do it as accurate as possible, even if it takes a little bit of time, it's fine. Uh, yeah, try to also pronounce all of the letters. It will give you extra practice. You, yeah, you, you, yeah, u, ah, u, yeah, u. <laughs> Didn't have enough time for all of them. <laughs> Sometimes they appear way too fast. Yeah, you, u, o. Ah, you, eh, eh, ye, e, eh. <laughs> the final was also eh. Let's see if this time I could, uh, like, uh, beat my record. Yo, u, u, a, u, yo, u, e, ya, you, u, u, e. Oh, I think they disappear when you hit all of the uh, amount that you are required by the level. So it's nice. Okay, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, u, e, ya, you, you, e, u, 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 e. Money! I lost some money. <laughs> Dengue. I lost some dengue. Extra points. E. E. U. O. Ya. U. U. O. A. Dengue. U. Stars. Okay. U. Ye. U. E. U. E. Pretty good. I think last time I actually did better. But we'll see. U Yeah U Star Ah Ah Oh Yo You Yeah Yeah Uh Yeah Ah U Ah E E O E U Wow so many <laughs> I've never had so many so probably this one will be the winner. Okay, level eight. U o ya u u e u u u a o u a ye yo yo ye o time u u e. Wow, this one will be definitely a winner. <laughs> I got and the time and the stars. And I think even dingy. Some money. Yeah. O U U U Ya O Yo A A A Yo U U Yo U Yo 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 U Ya U E Money Yeah You Wow, again, <laughs> this is a total winner. It's a really nice exercise if you pronounce the letters aloud correctly. A, A, E, Yo, Yo, A, U, Ya, Ya, E, I, I, U, U, Ya, U, Ya, U, O E U Ye O Ye. Okay, level ten. Do we have extra or no? I think there are only ten levels. <laughs> okay, leaderboard. And yes, I think this time it was this amount of points. <laughs> uh, total bullcrap. Привет, Я тоже буду читать русский с тобой. 
Okay, that's cool. Хорошо. Uh, please click on the link in the chat. I will send here one more time. And you would be able to do all of the activities together with me. So we were just uh, uh, oopsie, practicing vowels. And uh, don't forget to <laughs> repeat. Что за игра? Uh, it is игра на гласные. A game for vowels. So we were just practicing because today we are going to learn the мужской род, masculine gender, and to distinguish it, we need to know all of the vowels. Okay. So, oopsie. <laughs> oh, I forgot to change here. The the slide is fine. Okay. Let's see. A bit of a problem. So in Russian language there are three рода, three genders. Он, he, она, she, and оно, it. Он, она, оно. And as you can see, the base is the same. It's everywhere letters O and N. Он, он, а, он, о. So, vowels, they are actually the letters that help us to distinguish each of the genders. So, in masculine gender, all of the words that end with a consonant, they are on masculine uh, gender. But, as we've seen, there are so many letters and maybe at the beginning it's difficult Oh yeah, I use it when I'm teaching, uh, but it's also a, a website called wordwall.net and you can make your own games there if you create an account so you could get unlimited amount of games or you can just practice any games that are already there, but I make my own games for each of the lessons. So we have so many letters and it's not very easy to remember each of them, which are vowels, which which are consonants. So it's easier to remember on the one group. So these red ones, they are vowels. Okay. So yep, they are a, ye, yo, i, o, u, u, e, u, ya. And also this sign, мягкий знак. If you see any of these, you just remember that it is not a male. It's something about a woman, female gender, or it's neutral gender, something it. In Russian language, it's actually very funny because we, uh, we are a traditional country, <laughs> Russia, so we have only three genders. And the, you cannot have any gender like... Uh, I don't know, like, you cannot use pronoun they to be correct, right? Like, to be politically correct. Because it's, it goes against of our grammar. Okay. Here. So, there are three genders. And uh, the masculine gender that we're going to focus today on, мужской род, is any word that ends with any of the consonants. It's again? Oh, I forgot. Today I did some mistakes. Yeah, so any consonants. So we're going to repeat these letters very quickly, one after another. Please repeat them after me. And we start with the first one. B. 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 V. 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 G. 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 G, G, G. Yeah, it is a precise language. <laughs> D, D, D. Z, Z, Z. Z, Z, Z. This letter, if you've watched my previous lessons, it makes the sound Y, Y. But its official name is a short E. E. Краткая. Краткая means short. So, Y, Y. К, К, К. Л, Л, 
L M M M N N N P P P R R R It could be rolling R rolling R it could be less rolling it's still fine S S S T T T F F F or F F F H H H H H H H H H H H so the last two, they're almost the same, just sh is a little bit maybe softer and sh is more aggressive. <laughs> Words with both L and R are so difficult for me. Do you have a lot of experience teaching Russian? I used to teach Russian in China and also in Vietnam. So <laughs> I guess yes. <laughs> so let's look at the uh, words that we learned last during our previous lessons and let's try to figure out their gender. Remember, if the final letter is not a vowel, it will be a masculine gender. So we had letter A, 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 Aeroport, Aeroport. So the final letter is T. There. It is not a vowel, so it is on. On. It is very important to know the genders of the words because all of the grammar is based on, on uh, genders. In Russian language, we don't have many modal verbs, but we have a lot of endings and suffixes that will change the tense and basically the meaning it's not very okay if you just want to communicate as a tourist you come for one week vacation to russia it's not a big deal people will still understand you but if you want to maybe study or work later it's still better to uh, speak as accurate as possible and all of the grammar rules they are based on gender so it will be the endings for nouns for adjectives for uh, verbs for everything. That's why it's important to know this. So, aeroport. On. On, on, on. Okay, let me get the next one. Another word that we learned is a, 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 ananas. 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 We stress the final syllable. Again, what is the name? Uh, what is the sound or the name of the final letter? It is s, 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 s. It is not a vowel, so it has to be on. On ananas. So, for example, why, how can we use this uh, gender? In English, we say it is a pineapple because it's not a human, right? And it's uh, not a man, not a woman. But in Russian language, uh, and we can say pineapple is delicious. But in Russian language, to be able to use the adjective correctly, you need to put have a specific correct ending. So we will say not eat is delicious. We'll say he is delicious. <laughs> That's another thing. So at first, just don't think about anything. We'll not have anything difficult. We'll just try to figure out the gender of the word. Ananas. On. On, on, on. Ananas. Next one, because we're gamers, we learned this word. A, a, a. Af, da, mat. Afta, mat. Stressing the final syllable. Afta, mat. Afta, mat. So, can you guess the gender? Is it he, she, or it? Автомат. В Counter-Strike. Правильно. Exactly. Also, автомат is the vending machine. It could be coffee автомат. Could be... 
um, maybe like ATM sometimes could be called aftermath. Correct, мужской род. Он. Next one. Next one is D, 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 дом. Only one syllable. Oh, you didn't know about it? Yeah, that's why actually it's funny because uh, basically in Russian, if you say автомат, it will be any automated machine. So it could be some, um, if you work as an engineer, you will have a lot of different автомats, like different micro schemes maybe, or different machines. And it's also the same name for automated rifles like AK-45 or some vending machines, ATMs could be also called автомат. So next one. Mm -hmm. We actually also say вендинговый uh, аппарат or вендинговая машина, vending machine, but it could also be called автомат. It depends who is calling, who is saying. So next word is дом. Д, Д, дом. Он, она, or оно. <laughs> yeah, Russian is Russian language could be fun sometimes. Of course, it is on, on, because M is a consonant, and actually, it's also written the same. Actually, M is always consonant in all of the Latin languages. Next word, also from the previous lesson, Д, Д. Dia, vush, ka. To stress the first syllable. Devushka. Devushka. This one is pretty easy. So, all people, if you see that obviously it's the person has male uh, features, the traditional male features, okay, you can say on. If a person has traditional female features, you say ana. It's, you cannot really offend anyone by, by saying on или она. There is no problem like in Western society. Uh, maybe the problem would be if you call someone ано, it means you think those that person is basically nothing for you, so you really think it's like a dirt for you, so that could be a problem. The only words that sometimes stop me are these ones that end in мягкий знак. Yeah, those are some actually exceptions. That's why <laughs> we we have some exceptions. You're right. So first one is девушка. Девушка. Of course, it's a female and it has to be она, no matter what. It's just like it's not what we actually. We just know it's definitely not on. Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. This one is actually one of the exceptions. It's a tricky one. Again, we learned <laughs> last lesson that an old man is called дед, дед. Yeah, exactly like дед мороз. But the full uh, word of from дед is a short form. The full form would be дедушка, дедушка. Stressing the first syllable, дедушка. Дедушка. So this is an exceptional word because we definitely see it ends with a. A is obviously a vowel. We practiced it, but if we look at the person, we definitely see it's a man, and there can't be anything else. So it is on. So it is a word of exception. Like another. Do you know any other words that could be an exception? Like because you you already know some Russian, that's why I think you can. Find it cute how you guys call old people on the street дедушка и бабушка. Yeah, this is uh, what I said last lesson <laughs> because we assume that okay, uh, дедушка means grandpa, uh, бабушка grandma, and yeah, we call them that way. But if we don't like them, we just say дед. Дед. If they did something bad to us, maybe. Uh, they were rude to us. We say, "Hey, dear, like, hey, old man," but in a bad way, old man. <laughs> but sometimes we can also say "dear" when we talk about with our grandpa, when we just need to say it in a shorter way. So, nothing too bad. Everything depends on the intonation and the context. So again, <laughs> here is the uh, two words that could be confused easily. 
the only difference is the third letter Dedushka and Devushka. So obviously she's a woman, so it is okay, another language here, Anna. And Dedushka is is obviously a male, so on. These two. Uh, when we use uh, grandmother and grandfather when referring to our own rel relations, uh, we, who do you refer by we? I mean, what country from or what language? You know that people often put the word cafe. Yeah, <laughs> actually, even Russian speakers, not everyone knows like the rules and grammar rules, so it's normal for everyone. Okay, England. Okay, yeah, granny, grandpa, grandma, and uh, just old people, you just say uh, elder person, elder man, elder woman, but uh, in Russian, <laughs> yeah, the common is like more, I don't know, family oriented, <laughs> more traditional country. Okay, so today is actually our new letter, буква, буква Б, 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 Б. Of course, I'm picking the words because it's only the third lesson, picking the words that could be very similar to English language, so it will help you to figure out the uh, Russian letters, to remember maybe their pronunciation and writing. That's why we're going with easy ones. B, 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 banan, banan. We're stressing the final syllable, banan, banan. So let's uh, figure out is it a masculine gender or not? Banan, banan. The last sound that you hear is n, n, banan, n, n. It is not one of the vowels that we learned, so it cannot be any of these two. So it has to be on, on, banan. Банан. Ударение в русском языке пипец. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But if you say банан, I will still understand you. So, especially if we'll talk about in the context about fruits or something. So, we don't have any weird rules um, in pronouncing different letters differently, like theater and there, like th. Or like letter C in English, cat or Santa. So, я никогда не знаю, где поставить его в словах. About the stress, uh, we have a special dictionary, орфографический словарь. I'm not sure if I will pronounce it correctly in English. Orphographic dictionary, and even Russian speakers at uh, primary school, we use those dictionaries we, uh, every time in the lesson, in the Russian lessons at school to learn and to remember the stress and also uh, spelling. So don't worry. No, orphographicheski. This is how to write. Orphopicheski or epic is how to pronounce. But basically, if you buy any of those dictionaries or if you have, there will be the stress and you will know. I know people will still understand me. However, when I'm speaking Russian with people, they sit there correcting my placement of stress for so long. Uh, yeah, it depends. Actually, when I teach, like at the beginning, maybe like first month, I almost never correct during the sentences. Maybe if we like make only one word, like right, right now, bikun. Be con, be con. Uh, of course, I will correct you. But if I'm trying to make you say something to maybe produce two or three sentences, I will not correct you. At least not everything, because I know how discouraging it could be. Be con. Sometimes I feel like it hinders your progress because it stops the flow of conversation. Exactly. That's why, like teaching English, Russian, any other language, you should not correct all of the mistakes during speaking. In writing, yes, in speaking, you should <laughs> stop yourself as a teacher. 
Bikon. Bikon. The final consonant is n, n. So again, it cannot be any female or neuter gender, so it has to be on, on, bikon. Next one, again, super easy. B, 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 bank, bank, bank. The final sound is k, k, k. Definitely it's not a vowel, so we are not looking at this too. So it has to be on, on, masculine. Thank you, Привет, привет, привет. Welcome to the class and uh, I will send the link here if you want to join the lesson because we're going to have some more games here today. So you can just click, no registration, nothing is needed. Okay, let me get my teacher's board. So right now we're going to learn how to write letter B. Напиши, means write, букву B, letter B. So it's, oh, very cool. Yeah, let me get it up on my laptop. You can do it even on the phone. So phone, iPad, anything, no registration, it's easy. So we start with the first row goes up to down. After we will have a little semicircle at the bottom. And step three, we will have a little roof on the top. So I'll just maybe put numbers one, two, and this is the final step three. B, 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 B. Do you have material for more intermediate learners? How would you go about teaching them? I actually do teach uh, lessons like for all levels, just like I decided to start with the uh, complete newbies here so I could slowly progress with the content <laughs> for Twitch and YouTube B -b -b. but uh, in Vietnam I used to work at the P Institute uh, Pushkin Institute of Russian language and I was teaching Russian to students of levels from B1, B2, C1 and they were military um, officers who actually went to study in Russia and after they were teaching Russian at the military college. Yes, that's why <laughs> I've taught many levels. Okay, B, 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 B. So the first one is the capital B, second one is the lowercase B, and in different books, depending on the font, it could look different. But basically this is kind of traditional B. And sometimes when we do uh, handwriting, when someone writes by hand, you could look see it this way. It would also be bare. I feel like there is so much more content for newbies. Must be less stressful to teach them. Uh, actually, it's the opposite because <laughs> there is so much things, so many things that you want that they have to know. And it's difficult for them to really grasp everything. And most of the books and materials, they are, I would say, too rigorous. They are too complicated. So I don't think it's easier. <laughs> so you, yeah, you blow their brains by giving too much information. That's why b b b. I want to make my own course that will help people to actually understand that Russian language is not that difficult if you will not focus on numerous rules. B, B, B. So it looks like number six. Actually, at the end, I started <laughs> writing letter B much, much better. Okay. So the next letter that is very confusing for beginners and actually those who even uh, study Russian for a while <laughs> is буква V, 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 because in English lesson it has the sound B, 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 but in Russian it has the sound V, 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 
like uh, English V. 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 Vaza. Va. Za. Vaza. Vaza. So if we look at the final letter, the final letter is A. We know that A is a vowel. So it has to be one of these genders. Maybe female gender, женский род, maybe neuter gender, but it is definitely not on, not masculine. V, v, vaza, vaza. Don't forget to repeat after me loud. Okay, next one. The same letter, буква V, 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 D, V, D. We stress the final syllable, V, D, V, D. Again, if we will look at the final letter or sound, it's A, 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 A. It is a vowel, so it has to be one of this. We definitely know it is not мужской род. It's not он, not masculine, not he. Вода, вода. Next one is в в вилка, вилка. Remember that this L lul, is hard, not вил, вил. So maybe if it's difficult for you, try to be angry and say Vilka, Vilka, and you'll get the proper pronunciation. We stress the first syllable, E, Vilka. Мне нужно приготовить еду, вернуть через 15 минут. Okay, actually after this letter, we're going to have a game for new vocabulary. So basically in uh, half a second, there will be a game. Vilka. Vilka. The very same rule, so the final uh, letter is A. <laughs> A. So it has to be either fem okay, either feminine, either neuter gender, and definitely not masculine, not on. Okay. And now let's uh, Say these words one more time and we will play a little game. B, B, banan. B, B, banan. B, B, bikon. B, B, bikon. B, B, bank. B, B, bank. V, V, vaza. Vaza. V, V, vada, vada, V, V, vilka, V, V, vilka. Okay, now it's time for the game. So, on the right, you would can, like, you would be able to write your name. You can write it in English and Russian. It's always for fun. So, if you don't, if you can always click not me, write any other name, just uh, <laughs> uh, any name you like, in Russian or in English. I will write here in Russian. Start. So we have all of the words that we learned today and a couple of lessons before. and. Here we have the words, we need to match them with the pictures. So you can click on any word and you can hear its pronunciation because I know at this level we still don't know how to read everything correctly. I forgot that it existed, existed, existed with, uh, because it's not written correctly, not the word exist and not exit. <laughs> Okay, so basically have to match the words and we can listen to them and we can try to match. So first one, maybe we can go with a young lady. If you remember how to say a young lady, this word we actually learned in the previous lesson. 
and lesson two. Девушка. Банк. Дедушка. Банан. So I can give you help, a little tip. It should be in my slide. It is one, either blue, either pink. So it's either дедушка, дедушка either девушка. девушка. Of course, it should девушка. be девушка, девушка. So when you finish, you can click submit answers and you can check your result. Next one, hmm, bacon. Which word could be bacon? Again, don't be shy to listen, to click on the words and to listen and try to figure out the pronunciation, to match the pronunciation, because at this level I picked most of the words that could be quite easy for you to connect. Beacon. Beacon. B -b -beacon. Also it will help you to remember the uh, stress <laughs> where to put it. <laughs> Okay, next one. Ooh, this doesn't sound uh, exactly how in English how it's it is in English, but it's the word from today's lesson. So if you don't know this word, you can skip it. You can go to another one. Maybe the banana would be quite easier. Aftermath. Aftermath. Banana. Nah, doesn't sound good. Bank. Bank. Banana. No. Mm -mm. Oh, banan sounds very similar. <laughs> so take it. And in the same manner, I want you to finish all of the words. Aftermath. 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 Again, it's from the very first lesson or a second lesson. Maybe we don't know it, so let's skip it. Bank. 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 And we have a word similar to it. Bank. Bank. Дедушка. 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 Let's keep. Maybe it's lo it's difficult. Вода. 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 Still, maybe you haven't remembered what we learned today. Vaza. 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 And we have a vase. So now only four letter four words left to match. I think I will go with today's word first. Vada. Vada. V v vada. Water. Vada. Vada. Okay, also today we learned another word beginning with letter V, bukva V. And here we have only three le three words. Only one begins with V. Vilka. 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 And it is a fork. Fork. Aftermath. 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 We spoke about it today. AK-45 or a vending machine or any automated machine. Aftermath. And the final one has to be... Dedushka. Dedushka. Дедушка. So don't forget to click submit answers to see how many correct answers have you got and also check your time. And you can see your score, your time, and you can go to the leaderboard. Wow, so ten Kizi, you were much faster than me. <laughs> good job, good job. So you can always check, click on show answers and you can repeat the words once again and practice them as kind of flashcards. Девушка. Бекон. Вода. Вода. Дедушка. Банан. Ваза. Автомат. Вилка. Bank. Okay, you can always click back and you can click start again. You can do it as much, uh, play it as much as you want. But after the lesson, because in the lesson I'm the teacher, so I'm controlling the pace. <laughs> so now we are going to play a little game and see how well do we remember the names of the words that we just practiced. So we're going to 
hear the phrase где. That means where is. Where is something? Where is a banana? Где банан? So in Russian language, if we we basically say where and a noun. Where banana? Where table? Where father? Where grandfather? We don't need to use any uh, modal verbs like is, am, are. There are no articles like a uh and the. So it's quite easy. So I'm going to say a sentence. Where is something? And you need to uh, click on this star and you need to move it to the correct location, to the object where the something is. So let's start. Number one, номер один is где банан? Где банан? So you need to find where is a banana and you need to move your star there. Где банан? And it is here. It is here. Let me see. Yeah, show responses. Где банан? Где банан? Okay. So next one, следующий. I will ask you. Где вода? Где вода? So again, you need to take your uh wait. You need to take a star and you need to move it somewhere. Where Vada? Where is Vada? V V Vada. Где Vada? Okay, that is correct. Правильно. So in Russian we can say uh, in English we say this is Vada. In Russian, we can say это, это вода, or we can say вода там, вода is there, вода там. So let's say там. Next one, где ваза, где ваза, where is ваза, где ваза. So again, we need to move our star to the next location. Где ваза? В, в, ваза. Где ваза? Где ваза? Правильно. Correct. Correct. Ваза. Ваза. Хорошо. Next one. Где автомат? Где автомат? So... If we talk about Counter-Strike, about games, shooters, we have автомат there, usually. Где? Правильно, <laughs> правильно, автомат. A rifle, automated rifle. Next one. Где вилка? Где вилка? Где вилка? Вилка. Где вилка? Вилка. Правильно. Вау, wow, it was so fast. <laughs> Где вилка? Следующий means next. Где ананас? Где ананас? Где ананас? No, it's not a pineapple. <laughs> Где ананас? Correct. Ananas. Pineapple. Next one. Где? There should be something else that we learned. Mm -hmm. Где бекон? Где бекон? Где бекон? Бекон. Где бекон? Правильно. Правильно. А, где вилка? Где вилка? Вилка. Где вилка? Где вилка? В, в, вилка. 
В, в, вилка. Правильно. Окей. Перфект. Let's go to the next one. So we'll practice a little bit with the words. Okay, one second here. Again, so we will need to rearrange the letters to make a word. Anagrams. Sastaf. Slovo. Slovo is the word. Sastaf. Basically, make up or make a word. <laughs> so again, you can write any name you like. Your Twitch account, any nickname, whatever you have. So we have a picture, картинка. We have the audio, автомат. So I want you to click on the audio as many times as you need and try to match what you hear with the letters, with буквы. Автомат. 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 So I can hear that the first sound is A, A, автомат. So obviously it's supposed to be one of the letters A, because in Latin language it's also <laughs> the same. Автомат. Аф. The second sound that I hear is F. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here. I can listen one more time. Автомат. Автомат. It's difficult to know what is going in the middle, but I definitely hear this last sound. The last sound is t -t. So I put the last t and whoa! Just <laughs> by surprise I got also a letter, another bukva R at the correct place. Aftamat. So at the end I can hear the syllable mat, mat, and I know that m m is the same as in English and in Russian. So m m mat, and also we got o by <laughs> by accident <laughs> at the correct place, and we can see that only two letters are off. So we can switch them, and ta da! It is perfect. We can listen to the word. Okay, go back, listen to the word again. Aftamat, aftamat. And if we go letter by letter, it will be A, V, T, O, M, A, T. But of course, when you, as a na any native speaker, when you pronounce the word, you may change some sounds, maybe omit something. But in English, a lot of, especially British people, they omit some words and uh, uh, not words some letters and sounds in russian we usually don't but we may change them a little bit so it will be a little bit easier to pronounce but if you say automat it will be good if you say automat it's also good people will obviously and definitely understand you none of them is a mistake it's well if you live in the north of russia in the northern regions, people usually pronounce each letter as it is, so they will say automat. But if you live around Moscow or southern regions, you will just maybe make some <laughs> slight changes instead of v, you say f because it's easier, and all of the not stressed syllables they would also be a little bit easier to pronounce automat, automat. But we'll talk about the re reading stressed and not stressed syllables next lesson. Ananas. Next one, ananas. 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 Again, we start with easy things that we hear, and wow, from the first try we got ananas. <laughs> Aeroport. 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 Obviously, again, I hear a ah, and now I know how to pronounce this letter. Aeroport. Okay. Aeroport. The final syllable I can hear is ort, port, port. So we have this letter, we have this letter. If you forgot how to actually 
pronounce them, we can start with the easy one. <laughs> Put the at the end. And also O was placed automatically. Aeroport. Aeroport. So I have not much choice. I just have to try to move the letters around. And this is how eventually we can learn the pronunciation of the letters without actually trying to drill ourselves Aeroport. to death. Aeroport. Aeroport. The key word, uh, I mean, the key to success is to listen and try to match with what you're given. Diet. Diet. Here is easy, only one vowel, yeah. <laughs> so, has to be in the middle. Diet. Привет. Привет. Hi. Привет. Привет. Again, I know the final should be the. Привет. Привет. I also can hear е at the end. Привет. 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 I can also hear в at the end. So it will go there. Привет. Привет. And. We have three letters, and it's highly likely that a vowel would be between the consonants. Mm -hmm. mm, but not this way. <laughs> so we have constant, constant vowel. Pri. Привет. Привет. Means hi. Автомат. 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 Again, I can hear it's supposed to be ah, автомат, томат, томат sounds like tomato, and probably I know how to spell tomato, right? <laughs> so ma. This is actually very funny. I did not think about that before. So if we look at the word автомат again, and if we just cover the first two letters, we will see tamat, tamat, and the meaning in Russian is tomato, and the meaning in English is also tomato. So it is perfect. Aftamat, aftamat. Dom, dom. Obviously, M at the end or in the middle. Dom, dom. Девушка, девушка. Да. Девушка. Девушка. Девушка, девушка. Again, maybe I don't know some of the letters, but I just know that at the end was something with K. And why not to put K at the end? And now we have only two letters <laughs> that are in the wrong position. And after we finish the word, we can always listen to it one more time and we can try to, to compare pronunciation with the visualization. Девушка. 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 So we remember this is буква В, the third one, буква В, В, В. Дедушка. 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 Д. At the end, I heard something with ka, so I will just put it like this. Ka. Dedushka. 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 So Dedushka. here, if you got stuck, it's fine. Just try randomly uh, putting words around and Dedushka. there is no problem with this. Hey, where is it? <laughs> show answers? A show leaderboard. Okay, wow. I was still, <laughs> I'm still the first. Good. So we can go back and we can again look at all of the answers, check those. Ya tut, хорошо, total bullcrap. <laughs> so we were uh, doing some spelling. Aftamat, aftamat. So the final consonant is. The final letter is consonant, so it is on, 
un masculine. Next word is ananas. 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 The final letter is s. It's a consonant, so it's again un masculine. Next one. Aeroport. Aeroport. Airport. The final sound is or letter is t t. So again consonant. So it is un masculine gender. Diet. The final end letter in sound is consonant t d. So it is a male. So masculine gender. Next one. Привет. Привет. Привет is actually a, a way of greeting. So it is uh, not a noun, not a verb, uh, not an adjective. So we don't really need any gender for it. So for any greetings, we they are not they would never be changed. So we don't really care about uh, the gender. It's irrelevant. So gender could be assigned only to living things or non-living things but things that we can actually touch maybe or we can think about but not phrases next one автомат автомат consonant so it is masculine on next one дом m m again ends with a consonant so it is on masculine Девушка, number eight, девушка, the final is a vowel, and we can see it's a young lady, it's a human, so it's obvious, we don't even need to look at the word. You see a young lady, okay, it's she, она, feminine. The last one is дедушка. Again, we can see a picture of a person, we can see it's a man. In Russia, it's very straightforward. <laughs> so you see a man, it is. it has to be a man. At least uh, the gender is supposed to be on. So it will be masculine, masculine. Okay. And let's see if anyone, oopsie, oopsie, back. Okay. Oh, total bullcrap. Okay, you're also here. Next time you can try to do it <laughs> a little bit faster with all of the uh, spellings and stuff. Okay, so for today, uh, actually, an hour, one hour has passed, but we can practice a little bit more. Uh, so I am going to draw something and you will need to guess what I'm drawing. It's one of the words that we learned and you can also draw something and the rest of us will try to guess what have you drawn. So try to draw one of the things that we learned today so it will be a little bit uh, easier for everyone. I'm eating, it was hard with one hand. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But at least, you know, and after the lesson you could practice more because I will move this lesson into student pace and you would be able to return to it for, I think, two or three weeks and practice all of those exercises. Okay, uh, what do I want to draw? I know what I want to draw. You can also see who is... Uh, working who is not <laughs> so don't be shy and you can draw something in your pear deck Ta -da. Ta -da 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 -da. okay uh -huh. что это? so when we ask questions i will always ask что это? it means Oops, why do I use caps? What's this? Or what is it? What's this? And the answer, we can always try to say oops, это. And you're absolutely correct. Ananas. 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 OK. 
Okay, I see uh -huh, another picture. So I'm going to show the response. Going to see, see here. Что это? Что это такое? Что это такое? Это. So you can try to write like on your slide uh, or in the chat. It's absolutely no difference. <laughs> so I will write it over here. So we can use the T for text to type. If you don't have the keyboard, you can just write it with a hand. Choose any color of the pen or pencil. Что это? I think it is the 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 o o o and the final letter is m m m dom so whoever drew dom please write it on your slide you need to write the three letters so you can write it by hand or with the text the the dom the the dom mm -hmm. so i will uh, help you a little bit with the uh, letter the the first one so we can just uh, draw a little bench and after there could be another bench or like a box is standing on the bench. Another way of writing bukva there, it could be a little hill or a tent, camping tent, that is standing on a bench. So both are correct. <laughs> Just uh, it depends on the font. With some fonts, you will see the kind of square on the bench. Yes, and uh, with some fonts you will see a tent standing on the bench. <laughs> and a very cute smile there. That's cool. The the dom. Okay. So if you want to delete your picture, you can just click at the very bottom, clear, and you can draw something else. So I'm going to draw ooh, something else. I want actually it to be pink. <laughs> I'm not good at drawing these things, <laughs> but... Okay, let it be this way. Что это? Что это? Что это? Oops, should be a question mark. Что это? What have I just drawn? Что это? I think we're drawing uh, actually the same thing. <laughs> that is actually cool. Do you remember how to say this thing? Actually mine and uh, yours, <laughs> they are the same. <laughs> Of the mat. Correct. Pravidna. Perfect. Of the mat. Okay. I did not expect that we'll draw the same thing. Okay, I'll try. Let's try next one. I will choose something not that easy this time. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we'll have some telepathy, so you can also uh, draw something new. <laughs> Cheater, копируешь меня? У тебя хороший русский. For how long have you been uh, learning Russian? Как долго ты учишь русский язык? Четыре года. Mm, that's good. So have you been to Russia or have you only started it like in the UK? Но не усердно. 
It's okay. Because it's difficult to learn the language when you are not in the uh, environment. And actually, I've been the. Uh, I used to live in China. I spent there like four years, and also in Vietnam for years. And I have not learned much, just because no one around me uh, was able to speak English. Okay, actually, a lot of people around me they were able to speak English, and uh, I didn't really need to learn Chinese that much. But I actually did learn. I was almost level three, HSK three. But, uh, of course, I forgot most of it. Самостоятельно учу его. Я тоже сама учила. Пам-пам-пам-пам. Окей. Вопрос. Кто это? Кто это? <laughs> Volshebnik? <laughs> no, okay, it's not that uh, difficult, but you have very beautiful handwriting, by the way. It's uh, one of the easier words that we kind of learned today, uh, or practiced today, it was also in uh, anagrams. <laughs> Dead Maros. <laughs> For Dead Maros, you need gifts, but very close. So it is Dedushka. Dedushka. Can you spell Dedushka? We'll see, like without a dictionary. Без словаря. Dedushka. D, D, Dedushka. I will also write letters so everyone would be able to see how are we writing letters. Mm -hmm. Correct. Правильно. D. E. Another. D. U. Oops. Okay, I don't have enough space for my <laughs> дедушка. Ш, к, а, дедушка. Дедушка. Мой русский ужасный. О, oh, я не согласна. I completely disagree. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Because я не знаю, как ты звучишь, как ты говоришь. Но пишешь ты очень хорошо и даже без ошибок. So your writing skills in the chat are, I would say, almost fluent. And I don't see any mistakes, like with endings, uh, the words, everything is, seems to be correct. Я звучу... Как? Русский... Человек. Потому что ты русский человек. <laughs> Нет. So, what about this letter, with, uh, letter R in the word как? Как ты пишешь букву А? Что-то я не поняла, как ты ее написал. Ты ее написал вот, вот так, что ли? Ага, все, поняла. Это просто она больше как э, в печатном издании. Такая вот А пишется. Поэтому я не люблю учебники, которые вот... Э, ну ладно, не учебники, а в основном книги. Ну это же английские учебники, в которых вот букву А пишут вот таким вот образом, потому что обычно, чтобы легче писать, вот от руки рукописное письмо... Нужно писать ее вот так вот. То же самое и с, в русском языке. Ее и так, и так пишут. И когда ты подготавливаешь какой-нибудь урок, там, презентацию, то нужно всегда смотреть на шрифт, чтобы была нормальная буква. 
или все капсом писать капслока а ты занимаешься по ну, пытался по учебникам заниматься или через uh, youtube так тут не видно it seems I don't even know cursive it seemed pointless to learn uh, в принципе я согласна курсив The cursive you need it only for actually if you live in Russia uh, the cursive is important because if you ask anyone for directions and uh, maybe if you go to a doctor you go to uh, any governmental office so there is a lot of bureaucracy there are a lot of papers that you need and there will be a lot of handwriting there but otherwise yeah you don't need to я слушаю подкасты обычно, они очень полезны. Да, правильно. Я, кстати, uh, сейчас... We're going to finish our lesson today, but we're going to stay tuned and we're going to watch some videos in Russian and discuss uh, how things are going. So I'm going to end the stream and rejoin in one second. So we're not going to spam the <laughs> lessons. So see you in a second.